The biggest problem I had when I first was trying to build my website was the sheer amount of platforms that are now available. Especially as a beginner, I was overwhelmed with the options of having like Wix, WordPress, Squarespace, Ghost, and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so much to choose from. It was beyond overwhelming to the point where I just gave up the search and then I tried to learn how to code myself, which I did do, but then I realized I was spending so much time coding the actual website that I wasn't spending enough time on the actual content creation. So then I scrapped the whole thing and started over. So after spending about a year learning how to code, I ended up going back to a platform called Ghost. Now everybody who's in like content creation, YouTube uses the platform Ghost, like Ali Abdal, he talked about it in one of his videos, but basically we're gonna go over what is Ghost, how much it costs, how to actually create posts and content on there, how to get a domain like itsjustliz.com or itsjustliz.org or, or your name and then the .com, that's what a domain is and then go over newsletters on there as well. If you're new here, I'm Liz, I'm a data science manager at Intel, but I basically film videos on coding, website building, um, general navigation in your 20s, a little bit of finances. So if you're into that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe, otherwise let's jump into it. Okay, so the first question you should be asking yourself is why do you want a personal website? This was pretty clear to me because it feels like everyone is getting away from this like really boring Word document resume and now it's kind of shifting towards online presence. Like do you show your work on YouTube, TikTok, Twitter? Like now the internet is what you're, where you showcase your work. For example, when I was interviewing for my last job, they not only looked at my resume, they also checked out my YouTube channel, my personal website, and my Twitter. So they had lots of different options as well as LinkedIn as well. Like that's another one that they always check, but that's a lot of content that they can consume on you, but it also will put you at a unique advantage because having an online resume basically in the form of a blog or a YouTube channel or a personal website is really good because you can showcase how educational you are, how you're trying, you're throwing out things into the universe, you're educating yourself, you're reading books, you're coding, it puts you at a very unique advantage. Okay, so what is Ghost? You may not have heard of Ghost, but it's really common for content creators. So I like it because you have these templates that you can either upload that people make on the internet or you can choose from on their actual website, but it's basically like a website creator situation. So it makes you like be able to make websites without having any coding background whatsoever and you can just focus on the content. Now the cost varies a little bit here because it, I think it's like $10 a month for the basic plan. I do the pro, which is $25 a month, but that's because I wanted to upload special templates that people create. So right now I'm using the Ali Abdal template, which cost me about 150 bucks. Um, this guy named Dan, he coded it. He coded Ali Abdal's website. I really liked the format. I bought it, I uploaded it. For that, I had to pay $25 a month to have that like special feature. But then once I set that up, no coding involved. You just upload it and then you're done. Okay, so the domain really throws people off. It really is just your name and then a .com, .org, or whatever you wanna call your website. You actually have to go out and physically purchase that um, through the internet. So you're gonna use, my favorite one is Google Domains. And you basically add it to your cart. You search what you want, add it to your cart. It charges you like $13-ish a year, which is nothing. And then it automatically renews it but you have to tell Google and Ghost that you're using the domain. So that is done through what's called DNS records, which it was really complicated. I'm not gonna lie, when I was a beginner, I was like, oh my God, I don't know any of this tech stuff. But it's super easy because Ghost gives you a little template. It's like a little email that they say, hey, send this email to your domain provider, which would be Google Domains, and then they will kind of link them together. Both these companies, Google Domains and Ghost, are super responsive. So you can email both of them. You could do it by hand as well in the DNS records section of Google Domains, but it's kind of complicated. I do have a video, I'll link it below. It's somewhere in that video where I show you exactly how to do it, but it's complicated. I'd prefer you guys just to email the companies. Um, but you can also buy the domain on the Ghost website itself, which is a little bit easier because then you don't have to talk to, they don't have to talk to two different companies. So that's an option as well. 
Now the best part about Ghost is you can really focus on the content. Like I said, I tried to code my own website and then I was like constantly focusing on the code rather than the content. So you kind of just want to wipe away all the code, even if you're really good at coding, like it's just not necessary. Like there's templates, there's things you can use. I don't code anything for my website anymore, except for when I want to alter the template like slightly, I know enough to do that. But focus on the content, you're basically going to create your content in what are called posts and you'll basically enter whatever you want in your post and you can send it out in a newsletter. And then once you're done with the newsletter, it just shows up on your website. So I schedule mine for every Tuesday, I believe. So if you're interested in seeing my newsletter, which is mainly like coding, finances, everything in your 20s, um, I'll link it below. But the great thing about it is you can send it to your newsletter people and then it shows up right on your website as well. And then you can also create what are called pages, which would be like kind of in that navigation bar where you can go from your first, your home page to a side page. If you wanna know a little bit more about how to set up a newsletter, I just filmed a video on newsletters in Ghost, so I will link it here. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.